Okay, I guess here's a review of uh, the Olike driver, Olike Blu-ray driver. That's only like 50 to 250 milliamps. Uh, it does work, but not how they say it does, or at least not how I interpret it. Uh, I have one in this pin build. It's working at like 105 milliamps. All right, as you can see here on Olike, Sorry for the lininess, I guess it's just my computer. They say laser diode positive is that pad right there on top. Dang it. And laser diode negative VCC power positive. Unless I'm interpreting it wrong, I'm not really sure if I am, but. I'm thinking VCC is power positive from the battery and laser diode positive that's pretty self-explanatory laser diode negative that's yeah, self-explanatory alright so got that hooked it up like that and of course uh, ground is the spring of course alright I hooked it up like that you know on a breadboard test it out nothing works that's just my interpretation of what they have and I uh, fooled around with it a little bit and figured out that the one on the back, which they call the laser diode positive, is the power positive from the battery. Has to be. And then the two pads on this side are the laser negative and laser positive, which they call the power positive and laser negative. I hooked it up like this, the laser positive here and laser negative here and power positive here, power negative here. And it works. For me at least it did. I don't know. Maybe it's I'm hooking it up and it's like fluke working somehow. But it's working. And another note is the pot right there. Make this focus. Focus. The pot is very very sensitive I mean barely have to move it and it will change like 5 milliamps to 10 milliamps very very sensitive but I got mine tuned in to 105 milliamps put it in here hooked it all up got it working so there you go just a little review. You're wrong, no like. <laughs> Gotta give a shout out to Laser Pointer Forums. Oh yeah. Thanks for watching.